Well, here's an anime non-watcher. This person would rather scratch his eyes than watch anime. More girls for him, right? I guess you haven't been paying attention, but women also watch anime. You're not getting more women. In fact, you're getting less. This person says that anime fans are sexual deviants. We are, but at least we don't spread STDs. Men liking anime, red flags. That means they spend hundreds of hours watching it instead of hustling. But they are hustling. They couldn't buy anime merch otherwise. This person also bashes Hololive VTubers and says that it's rooted in pedophilia. Why else are these girls with baby voices the star? Because they sound cute? Why aren't the girls allowed to disclose their relationship status? Because that's none of your business? There's a true story about how an anime fan is socially inept and doesn't care about what other people like. Yeah, there are plenty of people that are like that that are not anime fans. But sure, if you're gonna mark red flags on all the anime-loving men, we're not looking for you anyways. Men not liking anime is not a red flag. It's just a common hobby that a lot of people like. You know what is a red flag? A sexual deviant. No, not the anime fans liking hentai kind of sexual deviant. I mean, the going to sex parties kind of sexual deviant. I too have a limit to how many bodies I can tolerate. It all started with this post about OP being baffled that she caused another guy to feel disgusted that she slept with 60 to 70 people? Are you out of your mind? Okay, 6 to 7 I can understand for Westerners, in fact that's the average, but 60 to 70 is just pushing it. That is straight up an STD risk. Honestly, 70 is chill. Do you want to be thrown to the streets? This applies to both male and female. I don't care what gender you're on. Sleeping with that amount of people is the best way to kill off any of your chances on long-term relationships. People thought anime fans were sexual deviants. Try this degeneracy. If you go to a few sex parties and or are a bit into free use, then you probably can get 10 a day if you are trying. Most people don't go to sex parties. Then most people are cowards. No, most people are perfectly rational. Then normal people are boring. Yes, most people don't want to take STD risk, you disgusting deviant. Yeah, you do not call out others for being a sexual deviant when you yourself are one. It's the same as how you don't call out others for liking anime girls if you yourself like anime girls. Here we have more people hating anime girls getting caught in 4K liking anime girls. This person accused another person of defending a child predator who just made a joke art featuring a little anime girl. Unfortunately, this person had a little anime girl, Megumin from Konosuba, in their likes. They deleted their posts and locked their account out of embarrassment. Here's another one. Again, and this person accused the same artist of being a child predator drawing little anime girls. But it is revealed that they too like drawings of little anime girls. This person makes some fake excuses and apologies. Then this person threw a huge tantrum and eventually made a threat that was way too long to read. But the best part is that this person continues to like posts featuring little anime girls even after being called out for it. This level of projection is common online. So if you got called a creep or a predator for liking little anime girls, chances are they like the same thing you do too. All right, we got more fandom discourses to get through, but before we get through all those, I wanna say huge thanks to all these wonderful sponsors. You're all fantastic. If you wanna see your names among these legends, then check out the links down below, just $1, and you have support this channel a lot. Seriously, thank you so much. And now, let's get into even more fandom discourse. Ah, this is an outrage about as classic as you can get. Get help. Don't drool over children and stay away from any school building or daycare. How about you stay away from any fandoms you don't like? It's people who are anti-anime boys and girls that should get away from any school buildings or daycare, not the people that love them. Most people that love them know that they're fictional and therefore not real. You guys don't. Bro, I'm a freaking minor. Why would I want to see your fantasies? Why are you replying to people making adult content in adult spaces? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. It's time to stop! I'm dead serious when I asked about the parents because a lot of these minors just kept acting irresponsibly without anyone giving them any consequences. It looks like they must learn the harshness of the internet the hard way. Speaking of irresponsible minors, here's another hoopla about irresponsible minors. I don't know what compelled someone to flirt with strangers online. At least when you flirt with strangers offline, you can tell how they look. Don't flirt with adults if you're a minor pretending to be an adult. That's problem number one. You might interact with fetuses online. This is the second time I found out someone I actively flirted with was secretly like 14. 
That's problem number two. This is the second time you've been fooled. There are several lessons to be learned on your first time. Do not trust anyone who claims to be an adult online, and do not flirt with random strangers online. And yet somehow those two lessons didn't pop up in your head. So it looks like we're gonna have to ram that in again. And no, I do not consider this person a child predator. I do believe fetuses pretend to be adults online. I did that when I wanted to break through 18 plus content. But at least I never opened my freaking mouth or interacted with anyone let alone flirt with strangers. But hey, flirting is the beginning of most relationships. And like I said, relationships are work and work is hard. This hoopla is a gentle reminder of that. While well, this dude seems unhappy, he is shocked that dudes say they've spent the whole day with their girls. Bro, I do that all the time. Some even say that we're doing it too long. You just didn't find the right girl, dude. After three hours, his head is already numb to the girl. He's the type of guy that leaves a girl at his friend's table and goes sit with strangers. That sounds like a good sign that you should break up with her if you're gonna leave her like that and hang out with strangers. What is wrong with you? I like her, planning to marry her, but the problem is I get bored real quick. Bro, she's not the one. Trust me, she's not. You know who is the one though, or at least for you. There's this chick who doesn't like it when you ask her basic questions like, what do you do for fun? That sounds like a mystery wanting to be resolved, if you're willing to solve it, that is. One phase of the relationship that most people really don't want to deal with is the dreaded responsibility stage where you and your partner must work together to make sure that your life is in good working order. Okay, I want to make things clear. Question for women. Some women don't want to do laundry or dishes in fear of taking on that housewife role. Laundry and dishes are basic human skills that everyone should learn regardless of gender. But apparently it missed this person's head and a bunch of others. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't want to do laundry or dishes, you won't survive on your own, let alone with a romantic partner. You must do it regardless or hire someone to do it for you. Keyword, hire. Don't expect them to do it for you for free. However, if men decide they didn't want to protect you or kill the spider or mow the lawn because they didn't want the male role, is that acceptable? Yes, yes it is acceptable, because it's not a male role. Those are the roles that anyone who has any semblance of responsibility should take regardless of gender. Stop attributing basic human activities to gender, please. Speaking of laundries, the one thing that I find interesting is how a lot of these roles and responsibilities are totally lost among the right-wing traditional conservative influencers like Matt Walsh. Let's talk about him for a bit, shall we? Matt Walsh is apparently outraged that people are crying over the show Bluey. Oh, screw you, Matt. Bluey is awesome. It's a great TV show for kids and adults. They both can enjoy it perfectly fine. The only problem is, it's Australian. Oh no, I'm Australian. I remembered Matt Walsh when he went against video game violence and when he tried to insert himself into the Sweet Baby Inc. and DEI discourse. But aside from not being able to do laundry, he's also not liked by his pets. Apparently, he didn't take care of his fish that well. Not only that he couldn't take care of his fish, but he's negligent to a lot of his pets, including bees, and the dog doesn't like him. The dog doesn't like him. The dog! Dogs are very friendly to humans. They are a man's best friend, but not to Matt, I guess because he's not a man. And finally, let's talk about the end of a relationship. It sucks that marriages end in divorce, but sometimes it's the only way to move on from life and learn some valuable lessons. That said, if you are gonna divorce someone, at least have a good reason. This must be the most outrageous post I've ever seen in my life. And apparently, it's real. This man is outraged by his wife that she breastfed their sons. Oh, sorry, your son, implying that the son is not his? Why call it your son and not our son? Why is he outraged? Well, to put it super bluntly, he enjoyed her boobs, but now the boobs are being enjoyed by another man's mouth. That man being a baby. You are jealous of a baby. Now, this man is demanding a divorce from the wife, which is crazy to think about when he goes to court and be like, I am divorcing my wife because she's breastfeeding my son. To be fair, I've seen crazier couples on paternity court. Hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. That's all for the video today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more. Don't forget to check out my ABB show channel, link down below, go subscribe as always. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.